my violin and viola players, it's Miss Slominski, and I have a video for you on the first two songs in the D scale songs packet. Those first two songs are Supercalifragilisticexpialidocious, try to say that three times fast, and the shortened version of Star Wars. Your first page, if you've gotten it from me, would look like this. So I'm going to be um, just playing through both of these so you can hear what does it sound like. I picked these songs because I thought there might be a lot of people who are familiar with it, or maybe your parents are familiar with these songs, even if you don't know them all that well. The first song, Supercalifragilisticexpialidocious, comes from an old movie called Mary Poppins. All right. And this word, a super long word, just means something that is totally, amazingly awesome. You can just think of it that way. Just like this song is totally and amazingly awesome. Sounds like this. A one, two, ready, go. This song has some notes that you may have noticed I was using a longer bow on them. They are notes that, like at the very end, are not filled in. Only two of them are in a measure, unlike these other notes that are filled in. The ones that are filled in are quarter notes. They're only one count. The ones that are not filled in are longer, and they're going to last for two counts. You can think, think of having a slow bow for that. Well, next up is Star Wars. This song starts with those slow bows, and I bet you have heard this enough that you could probably sing it. Da, 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 da. This one is super fun to play, and the fast notes that happen, um, aside from one time, all of the fast notes that are happening are on your D string, and you're gonna be going three, two, one, and then three fingers on your A string. That happens very fast. It's four fast notes in a row. And they're good to practice pizzicato first, like this. Three, two, one, three. You can try getting faster. Okay. So that is a good thing to practice before you get started. One other thing to know in here, if you are a fourth grader or it's your first year of playing, there's one note that may not be as familiar, and it is right here. I'm looking at a violin part right now, but the viola part will also look similar. So it's almost at the end of the line. There's a note that we play three times and you haven't really seen it before. You play it with one finger on G, okay? So violins, are you're stretching over to your lowest string. Violas, you're going to be stretching to your second lowest string. So you're playing on G, but with one finger. Here's what it sounds like when we add in the bow. One, two, Ready, go. You know the song you know there's a lot more to it but this is just the small part the theme of star wars well have fun practicing listen to this until you feel like you know the song in your ear have a friend sing it with you have someone else play it with you catch you next time have fun practicing <laughs>